Welcome to the channel in the first episode of Gear That Doesn't Suck, where we're going to try and do a short review on items that we think do not suck that you should probably be taking a look at. So for the very first item of the day, we're going to be looking at the Brandt Built Anti-Cant Indicator. First of all, this is not a level. This is meant to be used as an add-on to your existing Senate level. So if you have an MV3 or an older model, the Brandt Built Anti-Cant device will work. And all it does is replace your original housing with their housing, and it comes with a kit where you can extend the optics back to the ocular to scope. Now that's beneficial for a couple reasons. One, it's just easier to see when it's back closer to your eye. Two, you can see it when you're shooting both strong and weak side for those of you who are shooting PRS and NRL and are using a level and know just how important it is to have your rifle perfectly level. This will enable you to see your ascendant level no matter what position you're shooting in. Now, this does cost just under $100. So for what you're getting, I actually think this is a really good deal. This is very well thought out, no frills, and it's gonna come with all the parts and pieces you need to make this. One of the other benefits that I think most people aren't thinking about is when you have a traditional setup with a Senate and if it's attached to your pick rail, that thing sticks way off the side of your rifle. It sucks when you're putting it in the case. Sometimes you need to remove it to put it in the case. And I don't really like having things that hang off that far. Mine was installed previously with a 90 degree mount. And I did that so that it tightened up that package. But it wasn't great for being able to see it and it just wasn't visible at all when I was shooting support side. So this has fixed all those things for me. Because when you're using the Brandt built anti-cant device, you can mount that Senate level wherever you want. And that's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Now, the new housing is aluminum and the rear section back here on the ocular bell of your scope, that is a 3D printed part. And I talked to him about that. It's not 3D printed because it's cheaper and he makes more money off of it. It's 3D printed so it doesn't scratch up your scope. Now, these are made in two different kits, one for a more traditional style scope like the Track Torque here, and another kit for scope that the whole ocular bell here moves like a night force. So he does have a solution for both. And like I said, for under hundred bucks, it's something you should definitely check out. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one.